Hello, it's Carla from Scrap and Create. So we are on page six. <clears throat> so get your, your um, base page out, your pocket page. This is the spine. So the spine is going to go this way. First thing you're going to do, you are going to the, find the center of page six. So just find the center here. This is, oh my gosh, what was that? nine and a half so that is going to be four and three quarters is your center you're going to make a tick mark there so let me show you what you're going to be making so it's a simple this is a relatively simple page so we're going to have this little um, journaling card we're going to make a little booklet out of it and just make a little booklet with a magnet there that's the only magnet in here. Then we're going to have these button closures and we're going to have two flaps, one flap, two flaps. And then here is the base page. So the first thing you're going to do, you are going to get this paper, which is from the Patterns and Solids, and you are going to cut this at seven and three eighths, seven and three eighths inches tall by five and three eighths inches wide. So get that cut. Go ahead and ink the edges and you are going to affix this. You're gonna find the center of this piece that you just cut and you are going to affix this to the center of your base page. So you're gonna put that down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. So you're gonna cut this yellow, peep, um, yellow paper out from the patterns and solids, seven and three eighths inches tall by five and three eighths inches wide. Find the center of this piece and then place it in the center of page six. So I got my piece adhered. Now you're going to have these two spaces on either side of the center piece. You are going to put down, you're going to measure this area. Remember, it's always going to be seven and three eighths inches tall. You are going to take your measurements and you are going to use this blue oval paper. I have my ovals going in this, this direction, um, like this. So you are going to cut two pieces of this blue oval paper, and you're going to be adhering them to both sides of this yellow paper. So make sure you ink them, Get a measured, have a little bit of black reveal in between the yellow and the blue. Mine roughly, roughly measure one and one and seven eighths inches wide, roughly, but you measure yours. Get those blue ovals down and then uh, we'll be right back. So now you're going to cut a piece of paper. Remember, this is all black cardstock. I'm just showing you with different colors to help you visualize it better. This is gonna be eight inches wide, six and a half inches tall. Eight inches wide, six and a half inches tall, and you're going to score it with the eight inch side up. You're gonna score it a half an inch. You're gonna um, burnish it, fold it, burnish, Put your score tape on there. That's one flap. The other flap is going to be seven inches wide by six and a half inches tall. Again, with the seven inch side up, you are going to score it at a half an inch, fold, burnish, add your score tape. So we're gonna start with this eight inch flap. So get your eight inch flap out first. Let me move this out of the way. 
So what you're going to do with this piece, let's get a little bit closer in. You are, oh, I'm gonna miss. You are going to um, put a tick mark at a half an inch here and a half an inch down here because we're gonna be adding a half inch strip down here. So I always like to put my tick marks and then just draw a line in pencil and you can always erase it. And so you're gonna do your tick marks half an inch here, half an inch here. And this is by the side that has your tape. Okay, here's your, your tape. And then you're going to find the centerpiece the centerpiece, the center of this paper. And I just put another tick mark here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab your base page. Here's your base page. Oh my goodness, what, what I need to do here too, I need to add a half an inch on this base page. So let me make my half an inch tick mark here. So half an inch. Half an inch. And then I'm going to join my half an inch tick marks. So you're going to find where is my camera? You're going to find your half an inch tick marks on your base page. This has already been covered with the blue um, oval paper, correct? So you're gonna find half an inch, half an inch. I like to draw my line. So what you're going to do next is you are going to adhere this flap a half an inch away from this edge here. So here's the spine on this side. So you are going to adhere this half an inch in. Here's your half an inch line. You're gonna line it up. You got it's even with your the midline of both papers. And then you're just going to pull that piece of tape. So just pull your tape and put that flap down. So you have one flap in. Next, now you are going to make a half inch strip using this paper. This is, um, I think this is from the 12 by 12, not the patterns and solids, but it's the large hearts. You are going to cut a, a strip a half an inch wide, but it's only going to be six and three eighths inches tall. So what I did, here's a, a piece of paper that's not this one, but six and three eighths inches tall, half an inch wide, you're gonna ink the edges, and then you are going to adhere it a sixteenth of an inch from the edge, like that. So I'll just adhere it with my glue, just to let you know, I always adhere everything with tape. So I'm just using this because it's faster to show you guys. And it's already dry. It's already dry. No wiggle room for me. There it is. So that's the half an inch strip of that red heart paper. Make sure your hearts are going in the correct, um, the correct direction. Let me close this glue. So make sure you're putting this half an inch strip of this heart paper. You're going to put that down. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get this second flap. Now this second flap you are going to adhere it at that half an inch tick mark. That's where you're going to adhere it. This should be 
six and a half inches tall, so it should be the same as the other flap. And you are going to adhere this down at that half an inch tick mark. So get that straight. And then go ahead and pull your tape. So you have your two flaps in. So you're going to go ahead, open that first flap, open that second flap all the way. So now you have your yellow paper here, the two oval um, blue papers were here, and you have this flap that you just put in. So let me show you what you're going to be covering this back side of the flap with. So here is your yellow paper, the oval blue, oval blue. You got your open flap. So we're going to start with the green, the green dotted paper. This is from the 12 by 12. It doesn't matter. It could be from the eight by eight, what, whichever one, it doesn't really matter. You're going to cover up that half an inch little flap that you um, adhered your flap to your base page with. So you're going to cover up this little strip with the green dotted paper and you're going to continue that green dotted paper like one and a half inches. So one and a half inches out, you're going to add the green dotted paper. So this is going to be cut obviously not at a half an inch, but probably three eighths of an inch wide by six and three eighths inches tall. Every thing is six and three eighths inches tall, correct? Because this is six, six and a half tall. So cut this piece, ink it, put it in, make sure you're mindful of the hinge, then cut another piece of the green dotted paper what did I say it was? One, about one and a half inches wide. Put that down. And then you're going to get this shamrock paper. This is from the eight by eight. So the shamrock paper is going to be filling in the rest of the flap. But before you put the flap in, you need to add this little ribbon. So this ribbon is, let me see how far up it is. This ribbon is going to be placed four and a quarter inches up from the base. So adhere your ribbon like we did with the other ones, four and a quarter inches up from the base, adhere that in, get it you know, glued and taped down. Then add your shamrock paper from the eight by eight collection. Mine measures about five and seven eighths inches wide. You measure yours, ink the edges, get this whole side put down, and then we'll be back to do the front. So you have your green dot paper in, you have your green sh shamrock paper in from the eight by eight. You put your ribbon in four and a quarter inch up from the base and now turn that flap over. So now you have, you're on the, the inside, this inside panel here. So what are you gonna do with this inside? So. Here's our green shamrock paper. We're going to turn it, and this is going to be the spread for the inside. Now what I did with this inside, <clears throat> this paper, this is from the 12 by 12. They're the same paper, because you can see the little B here, and there's a little B here. This is from the eight by eight. These are from, the covers, which I don't have a full piece anymore. So here's the 12 by 12. So you're going to get this paper 
and where this B is located is going to be right of these little um, cards here. So to the right of those cards is going to be this paper. And I just put that whole strip there. So I just cut whatever width this is, I cut it. I cut that whole strip and I put it down here. And I just kind of put my, uh, let's see, it looks like I just cut it and put it straight down. I, here's the top of the page. I cut it and I just put it straight down. So my B is kind of like right in the middle there. So you're going to cut this and this is going to be six and three eighths inches tall. That's going to go on this side. On the other side, it's exactly the same. Only now you're in the eight by eight front page to the right of these little cards. I do not have any of the eight by eight left. But you get the idea. It's the same thing. There's the B. The B's higher up. And I just cut it to fit here. So get these two stripes in. Just cut them the total width that they are on the paper. Ink the edges. Cut them. Put them in. Once those are in, then you're going to get this paper. This is from the 12 by 12. It's the back side of the, the green dot paper. So then you're, you're just going to cut these. Let me sh actually before you cut before you cut these, go ahead and get this sunshine and happiness strip. So you know how, how um, tall to make these. Get these inserted. Sunshine and happiness is from, this is the 12 by 12. I just kind of centered it so sunshine and happiness, flower, flower, sunshine and happiness, two flowers. That way I can get sunshine and happiness both sides. So there's my sunshine and happiness. No flower starts with sunshine and happiness. One flower. Then you have the hinge. Next is going to be one flower, sunshine and happiness. And it ends with the two flowers. So you're going to get those cut, inked, centered, and put in. Then once these strips are have been put in, then you can, where is it? Then you can figure out how tall and wide you need this paper from the 12 by 12 to be. Mine are five and about three eighths, about three eighths, five and three eighths. And this one is five and one eighth inches wide. This one is, is, oh my goodness, almost six inches wide. But you cut it to fit yours because we're always going to be a little bit different because of the way we put these strips down, the amount of black um, border that we show when we put them down. So get all this down and then you're going to be done. You'll be done with the back of the flap. You're going to be done with this inner flap. And then we just need to be doing this, the top of the flap. So you put in the, the strip here from the 12 by 12 paper, the border strip there with the, the B. You put down your sunshine and happiness down here. Um, you put your eight by eight inch exact same border strip as the 12 by 12 over here. And then you filled this in with flower paper. 
So yours should be looking like this once it's done. Hopefully, hopefully yours looks, it doesn't have to be exact, but looks something like that. Now we're going to be doing the front flap. So this front flap, you have this um, heart from the 12 by 12 collection, this half inch strip here. What you're going to do with the rest of this flap is you are just going to cover the whole rest of the flap in that same paper. You're going to find your measurements, cut it, and adhere it down. Make sure you ink the edges. Obviously, it's going to be six and three inches, inches tall, and then you'll just measure it to get your width. If you want to know mine, my width was six and uh, basically six and not quite six and a half inches in this direction. So, so now we need to make these little button um, closures, closure thingies. First thing you're going to do, you're going to make the base. So here we have a solid red base. So you are using um, the solid designer paper for this one. And then we have a solid blue base on this button. So you're going to be using this one to cut out your base. Now the base is made... I made mine from a one inch um, stitch die cut, circle die cut. You don't, if you don't have the circle die cut, this is just a one inch circle and that would be fine too. Uh, so this is going to be one inch. That, that's going to be your base, a red base and a blue base. So get those cut or punched. Then you're going to be making this black part here. Now this black part is where everything is wrapping around so it needs to be real strong. So what you're going to do is you're going to get, is this my three quarters of an inch? You're going to get three quarters of an inch um, circle punch and I use a um, 110 pound cardstock and you're going to cut four pieces. One, two, three, four. So let me get this book out of the way so you can see what we're doing. So you have your four, your four 110 pound circle cut pieces. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to make them even stronger by gluing them together. So get one, use your art glitter glue or whatever glue you have. Squish it around and let it dry. Put that aside. Get the other one. Squish it around and let it dry. So that is your three quarters of an inch circle pieces. 110 pound cardstock stuck together. If you don't have 110 pound cardstock, just use like three or four of your 65 pound cardstock. You just want this part to be strong. So set those aside to dry. Then you are going to get your another circle punch. All it has to, it just has to be a little bit smaller than the one you just used. So I used a three quarters of an inch and, and what three quarters of an inch and now I have a 5 eighths of an inch. So what I'm going to do, this one you are going to cut in designer paper and you're going to cut out 
some kind of image that you may want on top of your little button. So I'm just go through your stash of, you've got so many scrap pieces of paper now. You wanna do a butterfly, do a butterfly. I'm just, here I have a, um, a little flower. I'm just going to pop out a flower. Here's some of my heart paper. I'm going to pop out one of those hearts and that's actually what I did for one of my circles. So punch that out. Then you're going to ink those and you can punch out a bunch of them just to try them on, see which ones you like. So you're gonna ink these around the edges and then what you're going to do is you are going to get the pieces that you just, the 110 pound cardstock pieces that you just glued together, you are going to adhere these pieces right in the center. Put your glue on and you're going to adhere these right in the center of that 110 pound cardstock circles. So that one, get that centered. Here's my little flower. Get my, put some glue on here. Remember these have been, you've already inked the edges on both of these. So those you're going to just kind of let dry also. So once these have pretty much, they're pretty much dry, what you're going to do is get these one inch um, pieces. You're going to put it on your mat and you're going to try to get it centered. So I know this is one inch, so I'm centering it, both of them. And then you're going to put these pieces that you just made I'm going to put this, pretend this is my um, red mat. I'm going to put that here and I'm going to center it on that red solid one inch circle. And here's the red heart. This is going to go on my solid blue one inch circle. So just like that. And then you're going to get your pokey tool or anything that you can make um, a hole in something. You are going to go right in the center or as close as you can and you're going to push. I got this one through. Getting this one through. And then I did make a little hole there, so I'm going to go ahead and push that one through. Then you're going to get your mini brads. Got some mini brads. Going to get some mini brads. And you're going to put it through 110 pound piece with your designer paper and then you're going to put it through the bottom piece this bottom piece like that and then you're going to open up those wings and kind of flatten that boy I wish I would stay in in frame flatten this out as much as you can there's one piece. You're gonna do the same thing for the other. So pretend this was your solid blue one inch circle. Go ahead and put that there so you can kind of get centered. Get your pokey tool. Go right in the middle and push. And push that through and it did make a hole, a little mark in there, so you can push this bottom piece in also. 
and now get your your brad, your mini brads, put it through and open up your wings and flatten them the best you can. And then what you're going to do is, or what I do is, I like to put a piece of score tape over these wings. Don't want any overhang of that tape, but just to cover up those wings, kind of burnish it a little bit. And then what you're going to do is, where is my one inch? Here's, here's my one. Here's my one inch regular old circle punch. You're going to get your regular 65 pound black card stuck and you're gonna cut two pieces. What you're going to do with this is you are going to remove the, the score tape off of this piece. You're going to add glue to this black one inch 65 pound piece that you just cut. Add glue. Adhere it to the back side of this so you're covering up that those wings of that mini brad. Same thing, remove the score tape, add your one inch 65 pound piece to the back side. And voila, you've got your piece, your little buttons made. So now we're going to adhere those pieces you just made. Here's the one with the red base piece. Here's the one with the blue base piece. This red one and this blue one, they are going to be adhered the bottom of that circle is going to be three and one quarter inches up from the bottom, both of them. This red piece is going to be, what is that? Is that a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch? Oh my gosh. It is um, a quarter of an inch in. So this the edge of this is going to be a quarter of an inch in, three and one quarter inches up from the bottom of your of your page down here. So here's the bottom of your page, not the bottom of the flap, but the bottom of your base page. So let's bring out your working one so i'm going to measure three and one quarters inches up from the bottom of the base page three and one quarter inches i'm going to make a mark i'm going to measure three and one quarter inches up from the base page and make a mark this guy is going to be i have to measure from one quarter of an inch in so that's one quarter of an inch in. So that's where the side of my thing is. And you don't have to make all these marks. I just do it so I can show you. So let's get our base pieces. So here's the one that was covered in red. This is our red base. So what you're going to do, you are going to glue this, you are going to glue this entire unit down 
get your image in whatever orientation you want. You're going to glue it down so the the bottom of this circle is hitting like three and one quarters inches, and this is hitting at one a, a quarter of an inch right here. And you are just going to glue this down. So let me just glue it down. right right there so that's my red my red one is that my red one yes this is my red one and then you're just going to stick your bone folder underneath that black part of your button and make sure you adhere that base piece down real well This one, same thing, three and one quarter inches up. This one is almost right at the edge of the blue oval paper. So you don't have to really measure. It's just pulled away a little itty bitty bit from the blue oval paper. So get your heart, if you did do a heart, in the right direction. So I'm going to put mine right here and then use your bone folder go under the black circles and make sure you adhere that down so we need to let those dry completely before we add our string, we don't want to pull them off. So we're gonna let those dry, and then we're going to go ahead and build our, um, our ephemera card little booklet using this ephemera piece. So I'll be right back. Almost done. So for the card, your, this little booklet, you are going to put um, cut a piece of black cardstock, six and one eighth inches tall and since you can't really score it right in the middle what i do is i just bring the edges together and just fold it and then give it a good burnish and just make sure if you do that your edges are all squared up so you got that then you are going to round the corners on these um this booklet so around the corners Let's see if i can do two at a time so i have the corners rounded now you're going to get this piece of ephemera card journaling card this is a journaling card <laughs> you're going to make sure you ink the edges this one's not inked and what you're going to do is you're going to affix this on this little booklet. So you're gonna glue that down. I'm not gonna glue it down because I don't wanna waste my card, but just assume that is now glued down. Okay, so here's our little booklet. This is glued down on it. Now we're gonna add our booklet to our front flap. So here, this is going to be affixed three eighths of an inch in from this area right here. This, so measure three eighths of an inch in here, from here to here. And you're going to find the center of this page. Find the center of this page, which I think is, I marked it right there. The center of your little booklet, which I marked, is right there. And you are just going to adhere this on that. I always draw my lines. On that line, and you are going to center it and affix this down. 
So I, I'm not going to add tape because I want to save my tape. So I'm just going to add some um, glue. I just to let you know, I never use glue for these big pieces. I just don't like any chance of warping of my paper. Probably because I don't know how to use glue right. And that's just me. So there it's centered and that is down. So we got our we got our booklet in. We fixed it. This is already attached. Now we need to open it and we need to add our ribbon. And the ribbon is going to be I put it just above your little circles. So um that is going to be, just look at where your circles are and then just draw a line. That's where you want your ribbon to go. So that's where you want your ribbon to go. Just above the circle, that's where your ribbon's gonna go. And there's where your ribbon's gonna go. So you're gonna attach your ribbon and then you're gonna add your magnets. Now, what did I do? Did I use one or two magnets? Knowing me, I used two. No, I only used one, yay! So one basic gray magnet, which is right below, which is right below the, the ribbon. So I can feel it's right there. And then you're going to go ahead and transfer your magnet over to this side. And then you can see where my magnet is. I've covered it with black construction tape right here. So once you have your ribbon in, your small basic gray magnet right here, right below the ribbon. Transfer the other magnet over to this side. Then you can go ahead and adhere this journaling card. I'm not sure which one it's from because I don't have it anymore, but you're just gonna be inking the edges of this journaling card and adhering it over your ribbon and magnet. And I left this one blank. I'm gonna be putting a four by six photo in here. So basically you're done, other than we need to add our string. So uh, that's what we're going to do next. We're gonna be adding this string. And I actually added a charm to the bottom of it also if you got the bundle from us, or if, if you had bundles from us, we usually, um, Julie includes various charms that go with the collection. So I used the mushroom for this one. Okay, so you have your little booklet in. You attached your um, journaling card on top, the little things. You have the inside done. You got your ribbon, your magnet. Um, so now we're going to be adding our string to these button closures. So this is what I use. It's waxed linen thread minus five ply. It's, it's kind of thick. You can use three ply, three, three ply is good too. Five ply is actually like five, five ply. Um, it's pretty thick. So I'm going to Cut a piece, how long is this? Let's see, how long? I always like to cut too long because you can always cut, so 12. So that's gonna go around one. Let's see, one, two, three, plus that much. So this is 12. What is that? 12 plus. Say basically say 18 inches, just 18 inches is good. So I'm gonna cut mine.
Now the good thing about wax linen is it sticks to itself. So once you tie it, it's gonna kind of stick and not come undone. So you're going to slide this piece under your black button. So it should slide right underneath it. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a knot. Just tie it and make a knot. on one side and pull it real tight so you're now against that brad and then you're going to go on the other side 180 degrees and you're going to make a square knot so over tie and under tie. And then you're just going to trim this tail. So you'll trim this tail. You can trim that tail. So now you're now you've got this piece. This is going to be where we're going to be wrapping around this one. So this one just should wrap around pretty easy. I like to I like to make like a figure of an eight. So this way, this way, this way, and this way. And then you have a long a long piece here. So you can get one of those charms if you have one of the charms, and you would just tie it. Let me see if I have one and I can show you. Let me go find one. So I have this charm. It's not exactly, doesn't exactly go with this collection, but I'm just using it for demonstration. So you would, once you figure out how many times you want to wrap around, um, I like to go one, two, three, and then around like that. But it doesn't really matter then you're just going to adhere, add your, add your charm. And you just kind of get to where, where do you want it to fall? And then you just pull this and tie it. And a good thing about wax linen, it will adhere to wherever you put it. So that is not going to come undone. And then you just make a a square knot and that will adhere so you can you can trim that off you can wrap it around a little bit if you like because it is wax it will stick to itself and then just trim it these are not the best scissors <laughs> So there's my little my little charm added. So depending on how how long you want this to be, you can make it shorter if you want. So that is all ready to go. These are so easy to make and I get so frustrated with magnets half the time because I forget them. And then these are nice because you can add them after the fact. And no matter what you have under here, the if the if it's too heavy, sometimes magnets won't hold it shut. These will always hold it shut. Doesn't matter how much stuff you have under under it, these will hold it shut. So I think we are done. Just have a look, see if we got everything done. Let's see. Let me close this back up. So I used the mushroom there. So this is how everything should kind of look. So that was page, what was that? Page six, one, two, three, four, five, six, page six. And now it's on to page seven and eight.